years. Muni buses are not only crowded, they are slow, much slower than buses in other major cities. KTVU's Claudine Wong has this story. In large part, this new report isn't telling Muni riders what they don't already know. Just swing by any bus stop and you'll have no problem getting riders to tell you what they think about the service. Honestly, it's ridiculous. I sometimes wait here for like 40 minutes and they're supposed to have intervals every 10 minutes of buses coming in and some days, like I said, I'll be waiting half an hour, 40 minutes. It's definitely been worse lately, definitely. How so? Just waiting for the bus a lot longer. The report shows that Muni is slow. In fact, it's, quote, by far the slowest among its peers. Muni is averaging about eight miles an hour. It's also one of the most productive and cost effective because a lot of people ride these buses. But that means they are crowded. In fact, the report shows 30% of Muni vehicles are overcrowded. In fact, I sent an, uh, an email to Muni the other day complaining about the lack of service especially on this route in the morning, so I would agree. So generally an unpleasant experience, very crowded. Same thing on the way home as well. Waiting for a bus that doesn't exist. Um, fantastic system. I mean, it's just brilliant. You won't find the mayor mincing words about Muni. This morning on Mornings on 2, he talked about his most recent experience trying to catch a bus in the city. I was Muni last week, uh, and uh, actually, Ross, true story, waited an hour and a half and walked to work. Uh, it was not a good experience. This report points out specific areas that need work with Muni, including reliability, speed, and training for the operators. But this is the first time a report like this has been done in 25 years, and it'll take a while to be completed. It won't be until December of 2007 that we'll actually get strategy and very specific recommendations. In San Francisco, Claudine Wong, KTVU, Channel 2 News.